Talk to me broadly about where you think we are within the glut of some of the chip memory prices. So with respect to uh, the chip, uh, DRAM as well as flash, we have said that 2020 should be a good year for the industry. Uh, first quarter of calendar 2020 is typically seasonally slower quarter in terms of demand. But in our industry, because of the capex reductions, the supply growth has been slower than the demand growth. Is the end market applications such as 5G, AI, IoT, all of these are driving explosion in data. And Micron products are used to store that data and to process that data. So applications are growing. Micron is expanding its portfolio of solutions. We are well positioned to address the opportunities in 2020. We are excitedly looking forward to 2020. 2019, there was some excess supply in the industry, yet Micron produced excellent results in terms of overall financial performance. We are looking forward to 2020 here with strong demand drivers as well as strong execution on the part of Micron with respect to its technology and product portfolio. And Sanjay, a few analysts on the street, namely some from Cowan um, upgrading the stock, saying that NAND should become profitable as new smartphone launches help to tighten that supply up. Does that also coincide with your thinking as you look to tighter supply in 2020? Yes, I think as, as we said that the supply growth is less than demand growth and the demand it continues to increase given the end market applications such as cloud, such as smartphones, autonomous vehicles, increasingly driver autonomous features in the driver assisted vehicles as well. All of these are driving growth in demand. Just look at 5G smartphones. They are actually driving higher average capacity of DRAM than 4G phones. There have been phones announced with DRAM content as high as 12 gigabyte in them. Even $300 kind of 5G phones have six gigabyte of DRAM in them, whereas in 4G phones, average was somewhere between three to four gigabyte. And in 2020, a couple of hundred million of 5G smartphones are expected to be sold. So. 5G is going to be a strong driver of DRAM content growth as well as flash content growth given the fast speed and connectivity that it provides and explosion of data and AI driven features as well as really immersive experiences that 5G phones will be able to provide to you. They drive greater demand for data which bodes well for Micron's business. In fact, we have exciting products that we over the year have in 2019 announced that really suit very well for the smartphone applications. But let me tell you, it's not just about smartphone. When you look at cloud and servers, they are requiring, AI-driven applications are requiring more and more memory storage in cloud and server and data center applications as well. And there are and many other end market applications requiring and talk to me more about that DRAM and uh, memory chip that you talked about today, improving uh, memory by up to 85%. How do you see that changing the data center space? So what we announced today is DDR5. It is the next generation interface for memory in server and compute applications. Yes, it provides 85% faster performance than the previous generation of memory interfaces in DRAMs. It provides high reliability of data storage, and this is perfectly suited memory for the future server and data center applications. This memory, Micron announced today, is built in industry-leading technology node of 1Z nanometer. So this shows Micron's product leadership capabilities. In fact, in mobile applications, we already have been shipping our 1Z LPDDR solutions for quite some time now, and today we announced our industry-leading 1Z node with DDR5, memory mm -hmm. suitable for data center, enterprise, and cloud applications. You just had a resolution of the Huawei licensing agreements. Are you satisfied with those? With respect to Huawei, we mentioned in our earnings call in December that we have received the licenses that we had applied for. We are thankful to the U.S. administration for reviewing and approving our applications. 
Of course, it will take some time as these applications have been granted for us to get our new products qualified into the new platforms of Huawei. And of course, we continue to monitor the situation in terms of any other changes that may occur with respect to US-China trade relations, but we hope that this will continue to improve and go in the direction where there is indeed is level playing field, respect for intellectual property, and enterprises in the two countries to really leverage their innovation capabilities and do business freely based on free market economy-based principles.